Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my craft corner. And today, we're gonna be doing some fun magic. Oh, there's my thumb. <gasps> Whoa, it popped off! Just kidding, it's still attached to my hand. Oh boy, let's hope that their magic tricks are a little better. Pierce the candle in the middle with a red hot needle. Position the candle between two glasses and light both ends at the same time. The wax melts and drips from one end, making it lighter, and then does the same for the other end. A perpetual motion machine. Okay guys, so here's our matchstick. Here's our needle. I'm just gonna go ahead and get my pliers and hold this while I do this. Heat up our needle a bit. Now we have to try and get it right in the middle. Here we go. Come on, almost all the way through. And woo, we did it. Perfect. Okay. Then we just get our cups, just like that. Go ahead and light this end really quick. Looks good. Then we light this end. Oh, come back. Yeah, it looks good. Uh-oh. Is it gonna work? It's not working. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's working! What? That's cool. Wow. It does take some time for it to teeter-totter, but it does appear like it, it's actually working. This is pretty cool. Well, now it's not. Now it's just staying uh, normal. Maybe we can offset it a little bit. Oh. Oh, oh it's still lit. It's still lit. Okay, we'll try it again. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, now it's not working at all. Oh no. What do we do? What do we do? Oh, this side went out. Oh no, it didn't. Not sure how I'm feeling about this. It is kind of working. I wonder if it'll even out over time. Okay, so I put it out. I'm gonna try and maybe make it a little more even. So right now, this side is too heavy. So that means that I have to try and put it more on this side. Maybe that'll work. There we go. Is that a little bit more even? Oh, definitely not. This might take a few tries. And, nope. Come on, candle. Ah, I just stabbed myself. I think it's because this side's a little thicker than this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and cut some of this off. Maybe that'll do it. Oh, nope, still too heavy. And will that do it? Ah! So close. And here we go. That's a little more even. Okay. Oh. Okay, let's try this. Is that gonna work? Oh, oh. Is it working? It's kind of working. Oh, it's teeter tottering. This is what it looks like from this angle. Oh, no, it fell. Okay, put it right there. And oh my gosh, this is so dangerous. Oh my gosh, is it working? Oh! It's kind of working. What? Whoa. This is kind of cool. Well, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one works. Cut the card in half. Tape one half to the back of the main card. This secret pocket is what allows the card to freely move inside the bill. Amazing! Okay, so here are our cards. All we gotta do is just cut one in half, just like a that. One, two, and done. It's a little bit off, but it's fine. Then we go and get our tape and just kind of stick it on there, just like that. And, oops, I messed up. And boom, boom. Oh, they get it? Close enough. Oh, I put it on the wrong side. It's supposed to be on the other oh. side. Messed up. I'm sorry. There we go. That makes it a little easier to tape as well. Okay, that looks better. Yeah. So we're gonna be like, what? Turn the card face down and unfold the edges of the bill. Okay, I think I understand now. So you grab your bill, put it on like that, you fold it in half, just like that, and you fold it over itself, then you flip it over, and then you're like, whoa, okay. You unfold it, and whoa! Nice! Well guys, I guess we can say this one works! Place the coin between the box and the moving part. The coin will fall inside as soon as the box is closed. Open it again. Isn't it wonderful? Okay, so here's our matchbox. Here's our coin. So apparently we just have to do this. And then you just go and open it. There's no coin. Oh, there it is. Try it again. There's no coin. Ah, dang it. So I guess we'll hide it more like that. Do I have a smaller coin? I'm gonna try it with a smaller coin. So do that. Put it in. So I guess like that. So you're like, oh, look it. There's no coin in here. Oh, dang it. I just dropped it. You're like, oh, look it. There's no coin in here. Then you go and close it. And then you're like, and you're like, whoa, there's a coin. Oh my gosh. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna say this one works. Get two plates and glue a paper pocket to the bottom of each one. Place a coin in each of the plates. The only thing is that it takes a bit of training to get it just right. Okay, so here are our plates. Here's our paper. Let's go ahead and flip these over. Then we're gonna cut our little couch paper. That should be good. Maybe like that. Yes, perfect. Don't need any of this anymore. Go ahead and double our plates really quick. I need tape. I can't find my basic tape, so I'm just gonna have to use this roll of scotch tape. Heavy duty, I'll give it that. Here we go, right there, right there. Same with this bad boy. Yeah, it looks good. Let's test these puppies out. Here are my coins. Go ahead and throw this bad boy in there. Just like that. Another one in here. Ah, it fell out already. Here we go. And this one. Okay, so one coin here, one coin here. And you ready? One, two, and. Oops, it didn't fall out right. Ah, it definitely will take a little practice. Okay, let's try it again. You ready? One, two, and. <laughs> okay, one more time. One, two, and. Three coins, and again. <laughs> Dang it, I have to make sure that they're going the right way. Okay, one more time. Ready? This is the one to do, and. Perfect, and. Four! I did it! Woo! Well, guys, I 
guess we can say that this one works! For this trick, you'll need two cardboard semicircles. Make cones out of them with the help of some glue. The secret is to slightly press on the walls of the cone. Gently squeeze the cone and the paper ball will be sucked inside. Okay, so here's our pieces of paper. Let's just go ahead and make this into a cone really quick. Boopity boop. Ah, okay. Take that bad boy on, just like that. Yeah, it looks good. Now for the next one. Put some tape on that. Oh, messed up. Okay, I'm gonna even out the coat a little bit because I feel like it looks a little funky. There we go. Now for this one, maybe a little bit smaller on this one. Yeah, perfect, looks good. We got two nice and even cones. Let me just go ahead and make some balls out of paper towels. There we go. Yeah, there we go. It's good. Boop -boop -boop. And boop -boop -boop. it'll fit. Oh, maybe a little too big. Yep, they're both a little too big. Maybe one. That looks a little better. Where'd it go? Okay, let's do this. So, we just go and be like, okay, which one is it under? It's under this one, see? Perfect. Now it's not there. Oh, <laughs> okay, it's not there, see? Oh, there it, there it is again. Maybe I need to like put tape on these? You're like, oh, where'd, where'd the ball go? It's right here. Just kidding, it's right there. Just kidding, it's right there. Well guys, I guess we can say this one works. Cover the glass with a cloth and place it on top of the coin. Evanesco, the coin is gone. We'll tell you the secret behind this magical disappearance. Get a sheet of paper. Cut out a hole the size of the glass. Glue the sheet of paper to the glass. Now, you know where all that money disappears. Okay, so here's our cup. Here's our piece of paper. You didn't see it, did you? And we're just gonna go ahead and trace a circle on the bottom. Okay, yeah, it looks good. Cut this sucker out. Okay, perfect. Don't need all this anymore. Then we get our hot glue, guys. Kind of do this. Put it all on the bottom. Ah, it's getting everywhere. I feel like I don't need that much hot glue. So, here we go. Just doobity boop. Yeah, looks good. Okay, let's test the sucker out. Here's our coin. Oh, no, it fell off. I just need you to stay out for a second. Okay, perfect. Here's our handkerchief. Let's just throw this on here really quick. Boom, just like that. Okay, then we move it over. One, two, and... Take our handkerchief on and it should be gone. Ready? One, two, and Abadesco. Ooh, it's gone. There's no coin to be seen. Yeah, I don't see it. Well, guys, I guess we can tell if this one works. Put on the ring. Ah, where's my finger? Get a piece of black EVA foam and cut off a slice. Put the ring next to it. Hold the prop between the thumb and the index finger. Done. Okay, guys, so here's our ring. Our then we just have to go ahead and cut out um, a piece that's like this big. So I just have to make it kind of match my finger like this. Get a general shape. Then we'll cut the rest out later. Not bad. Pretty good for my first try, I'd say. Maybe a little bit smaller now. Like that. Okay, yeah, it looks good. All like that. Okay, so now I just have to be like, whoa, whoa. We'll try it on the phone. Okay, you guys ready? Dang, I wish I had a not as dark ring. Then it would work a lot better, I think. Anyway, ready? One, two, and whoa. Oh my gosh, my finger is disappearing. Wow, that looks pretty good. Woo, woo. Well, guys, I guess we can say that this one works. Turn the glasses upside down. Fold the dollar bill lengthwise in half and put it on top of the glasses. Then, by sneaking a coin on top of the end of the bill. Voila, the bill stays in place. Okay, so here are our two cups. Here's our bill. And we just uh, apparently fold it up like that. Yeah. And then without anyone noticing, you have to put the coin right there. One, two, and... <laughs> well, guys, I guess we can say this one works. Fill up a bottle with water and place the tennis ball on top. Turn the bottle upside down. Don't worry, you won't wet your feet. Because of the pressure difference, the ball stays firmly in place. Oh, okay, so here's our bottle. Fill that up with some water. <laughs> okay, and here's our ping pong ball. Oh boy, I hope this doesn't get everywhere. Put it on there, and... Oh, it's staying! What? That's cool. Dang! I also have this glass bottle I want to try it with. Um, The opening is a lot smaller. I wonder if it'll still work. <laughs> Here we go. You ready? Here we go. One, two, and... Ah! No! No! Nope. That definitely doesn't work. Well, guys, I guess overall, we can say that this one works. Wrap some matches along with a pencil and some foil. You should get a kind of a tube. Take out the pencil and pinch one end of the tube. Place the prop inside a glass and light on fire the side with the match head. The smoke pours out like liquid to the bottom of the glass and stays there. Okay, so here's our aluminum foil, or if you're from England, aluminium. Anyway, here we go. Cut off a fresh piece. And there we go. Perfect. Don't need any of this. Then we get our pencil. I don't feel like uh, going all the way to my desk to get a pencil, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this Expo marker. You just kind of roll it up, and perfect. 
Cut that. Oh no, I forgot to add the matches. Okay, I'm just gonna undo it really quick and then redo it. Here are the matches. Put a bunch like this. Yeah. We're just gonna try and roll it again. There we go. Take this guy out. Then we go ahead and get our glass. Just kind of light it on fire. Is it gonna work? Oh, oh my god. Oh, that's scary. Uh, well guys, I'm gonna go ahead and say this one doesn't work. It's also kind of dangerous. Be careful when you do it. This is also how you make uh, <laughs> match rockets. Take a match and light it up. Blow explicitly on the box and the match goes out. The trick is to snap your fingers just at the right moment on the match head to make the flame go out. Make a lot of noise while blowing to distract the audience. Okay, so here's our box of matches. Just take this off. So this is gonna take a little bit of practice. You ready? Light it, and then with my fingers like this, I just go, oh, it didn't work. One, two, and. Did that look legit? Did it look real? I'm gonna go ahead and watch the footage really quick and see if it looks real. I'm gonna go ahead and watch the footage really quick and see if it looks real. Hey, Robbie, newsflash, it doesn't really look that real, but it's close enough, so I guess I'm gonna have to say that with some practice, we can make this one work. The knot gets untied inside a towel roll? It's the power of the magic hole. Cut out a small circle in the roll. Through that hole, you should be able to hold the string with your finger. Keep it a secret. Okay, so I'm actually all out of empty toilet paper rolls, so it looks like I'm gonna have to do a little bit of surgery with this guy. Okay, come on, just... Oh, perfect! Okay! Yeah, well, don't need that anymore. Okay, now we just have to make a little hole in this bad boy. Just big enough for my finger. And we got it! Perfect! It fits! Okay guys, so here's our toilet paper roll. Here's our string. Let's just make a little loop in this really quick. And a boobity boop. Perfect. Well, maybe a little smaller. There we go. Here's our loop. Now we're just gonna go and put it inside. And oh, put it inside and then pull it. No! Okay, put it inside and then pull it out! It's perfect! It works! One more time. Okay, so we just get our little loop-de-loop -loop and then we put it inside. Boobity boop. And... It came on good! Well guys, I guess we can say this one works! Okay guys, now it's our favorite part of the video where we regret the thumbnail! Woo! Okay, so I think for this, all I really gotta do is this, and then look really surprised, and let's do some magic! That should do it! Okay guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you give a thumbs up. I'll look this right, right down there. If you guys wanna watch me do even more fun life hacks, magic, and crafts, I have a whole playlist that you can be doing them right here. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys want the shirt, stickers, or any of my other merch, you can click right here. Okay guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Okay, bye! Ah!